Hi. Um, this is a video that feels very weird to be making because it's something that I have been waiting to talk about for months now. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to finally be able to post this stuff. Um, I also feel kind of weird directly talking to the camera, but I will try my best to kind of work past that. Um, so long story short, this video is about the process and everything of, uh, me making a custom vinyl record for my best friend for their birthday. Um, my best friend Celia and I are huge fans of the YouTube channel Super Mega, and a couple of months ago, I'd say like probably like October-ish, I was like, like we were in the car and I was talking and I was just like, wow, it would be like so funny if like I found somewhere that could press a custom vinyl record and make you a custom 7-inch that had some of like Super Mega's sketch comedy songs, like um, the song Blonde Boys from their old channel or Skater Boy and Friendly Cop, or uh, like any of the songs from their podcast or Let's Play channel. And then like we kind of started talking about it and I was eventually like, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the time, the effort, the money in, and I'm going to find a way to get you this for your birthday, which was going to be in March. And then um, January rolled around and I got to work like with the artwork and ordering it and it was expected to ship by April but it didn't because I guess the company I ended up using uh, was like undergoing some changes so it kind of got delayed until June but last week I finally got the record in and today I got to show Celia uh, their gift so finally <laughs> six months later I can post the custom artwork that I made and talk a little more about the process because everything was a total surprise to Celia, except for uh, the fact that they were getting this. I didn't tell them the track list, I didn't tell them the art, or I didn't show them the art. Um, I wanted them to go in as blind as they could for, you know, already knowing what the gift itself was. So, this is my process. So with getting started, I... Uh, first initially just looked up places that could get custom record printed. There were a couple of different shops that would do them for me uh, with like various price ranges and delivery dates and a couple of Etsy shops as well. Um, and a lot of them were kind of more for like the idea of printing like a gift or like, I'm trying to think of the word, like um, a lot of them were doing them as like party favors, like if you went to a wedding you would get like a seven inch with the first dance song or um, you know you could make a playlist for a loved one but they would, they would refuse to do anything that was like under the concept of like this is a full album or this is like you, you know like music that I think you didn't have the rights to with a couple of them and this was just a personal gift for you know my best friend I, I I have not made any money off of this whatsoever, nor do I ever intend to. I don't want to sell bootleg super mega merchandise. But um, I found in the clouds the IO kind of met my needs, so I went with them. This is obviously not sponsored either. Nothing on my YouTube is monetized or sponsored. Uh, don't know if it ever will be. But I decided to go with them, and their interface was surprisingly easy to use, and I was really happy about the like amount of customization I could get within the clouds because you can not only customize like the sleeve, like the front and the back that the vinyl would come in, but you could also do like um, the actual art on the record itself, which is really cool because it kind of gave me some more creativity and freedom to dick around with. So somehow I lost some of the footage for the speed paint and it cuts off at a certain point. I think I didn't save my Clip Studio paint file in time, but I have a little bit of the process and I can talk a little bit more in depth about it. Um, basically, I originally thumbnailed out a little bit of ideas and concepts in my sketchbook and pretty quickly came up with what I wanted and then recreated that in Clip Studio Paint, which is my new program of choice and has been since a friend gifted it to me. For Christmas which was very very sweet of her and I took inspiration from Super Mega's branding and Dawn's thumbnail art to kind of like mix up my style with 
I guess, super megas, you know, I don't want to repeat the word, but branding. And so I also found the super mega font that they use for their logo um, and kind of redid a logo. I made it horizontal as opposed to like the vertical stacking. Um, I kind of did like a sketchy line art with this. I didn't like spend too hard on like, or spend too much time and focus too hard on making the lines very crisp and clean. I kind of wanted it to feel a little bit more like my style, which can at times be a lot more loose. And then I painted in grayscale and just sort of went from there. Um, after I did grayscale, I converted it to color, the red for Matt and blue for Ryan. Uh, slapped a, a parental advisory logo on there, and I added a chromatic aberration? Aberration? I've never known how to pronounce that. The weird 3D effect um, that has kind of become a staple of my art in the last, like, however many years. Um, just because I really wanted it to feel like me and something a little more personal. Celia. I am nervous. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I'm trying to decide if I want you to look at the track listing like before. I, I think I should be surprised. Okay. So do you want to listen to the whole thing and then look at the album art? Or do you want to look at because oh, like the track list is on the back. Up to you, up to you. Okay, I'll let you I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start it. Okay. And then I'll hand it to you. Just don't look at the back until everything is done. Okay. I think your favorite song. Oh. Ryan, put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. You go ahead and let your hair down. <laughs> okay. Sapphire and faded jeans. I hope you get your dream. Um, you go up and yeah. let your hair down. So sorry, it's fine. I just thought you'd like it. Sorry. Thought you'd like the same, but no. Can I keep singing? Yeah. Give me a best and leave the 